No, 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 Carter. Oh wait, I got the. Oh, now we're live. Now I got the camera going. <laughs> wait, I don't want. No, to now you can't do that. Now it's. That's what I'm saying. So do I have to start over now? No, because it was just a clip. But if I play any more, then I'll get demonetized. So. Continue. All right. So we got a special guest here. He's nervous, so I'm not gonna give him the. I don't know. Carter's turned on like. <laughs> Carter, enough with the uh, elevator music. Yeah, it's actually very fitting to the components here. Dang, maybe we should shut it off. There's nobody in here. <laughs> Not a single person. You gotta post it up on Facebook, Your Honor. Well, people get notified of it, so. What's up, ho? That's rude. Hi, Pat. Pat, <clears throat> this is the uh, RC1, so we're gonna go over what this is. Um, what's happening, Miami? Uh, so we're gonna explain, actually, I'll give it to Mike. Is that the music you wanna listen to, Carter? What's this soundtrack? Is this like Charlie desperate uh, Charlie Brown music? No, I just put some random one on from the epidemic. <laughs> I forgot that budget. It's to promote Well, you're probably not subscribed, Mike. I did. <laughs> it's to promote question I feel like it's Christmas. All right, Mike, here you go. Whoa, it's going crazy. Grab it. Is it wiggling out? Yeah, why is it wiggling? There it goes. Why right. was it wiggling? Did it stop? Yeah. Yeah, so your thumb is, that's how you do your left and right, whatever, up and down. I don't know if I can listen to this. I gotta change it. Wait, that doesn't affect the quality of the live video. I gotta change the music because I don't know what. At least turn it down. It's way too classy for this establishment. You can turn the thing with your, your thumb. Dude, it's weird. Mike following me around. Copyright free. Alright, I got my stool. Came with the shop. So first thing, we're gonna go to the most important thing right here. This is the most important thing. Scooter Swap Shop is where you need to be buying your stuff like this, because we can tell you how to put it on, because we've done it and we do it every day. I don't know what the dirt bike's for, but it's pretty cool. Um, so this is the uh, C1 Melosi motor. So it's made in, <laughs> online call. Uh, so this is made in 94cc or 70. It's made for uh, Yamaha fitment. Yamaha wheel or Piaggio, Yamaha top mount um, or Piaggio bottom mount. So this is a 70cc setup and I want to show you guys kind of what you get. There's some misconceptions. You see a picture of the engine and it looks like it's all put together. You just get a built motor, but you don't. But um, these range from, I think one of the 70s is 3,100 up to 3,400 for the 94. Carter's bike, you want to show them Carter's bike. That has a 94 in it and it absolutely rips. Um, that was built, of course, Carter built that motor and uh, it's got the um, I take this thing out. MVT ignition on it. Bear with me here. You can just yeah, use that. It's kind of. The thing above. sucks. Yeah. Um, so that was the MVT ignition on it. Um, and again, so the, the RC1 doesn't come with the arm. Um, and then uh, we machine this here to get it to fit because they don't come with the charging system. But what's cool to come with the fender your air filter, your intake carb, and, and everything. So this is a different uh, carburetor as well. So that's the Polini. That's a 30, 34, 34 no, millimeter. Whatever. The 32. 32 Polini, yeah. Okay. That's the only thing that I really don't like with the RC1. The tiny carburetor. They come with the goofy carb set. Yeah, they come with tiny little carbs. Like for instance, the this, 19. Which would work. It's not like it wouldn't work, but. Well, this is 21, right? Yeah, and the 94 comes with a 25. So that's what you get with the 70, a 21 millimeter, which is. That's good for like a small Yeah, 70. that's tiny, so I wouldn't run that. But, so we'll go over all the components you get. This is pretty much, if you get the box, uh, you can show them this, you get a tons of tons of boxes to show up. And uh, basically you have everything minus two or three little components to put this whole motor together. There's some CVT parts it does not come with that you, you'll, you'll use from your stock motor. Um, but we'll start with um, your gaskets. You've got different base gaskets so you can adjust your squish. 
um, all your O-rings and everything for your, your base and head. Um, this is part, this is the uh, Furia Rasa um, aluminum overrange pulley. So this is their high-end rear pulley. So this is basically the, all, the, all the top end stuff from Melosi that you get. You're gonna get your Contra spring. You're gonna get your, uh, your multivar with your ramp plate and your various uh, assembly lube, grease and rollers and whatnot. And then the best part, one of the best parts, you get a cylinder. Um, the cylinder's super rad. Uh, aluminum liquid cooled, of course, so um, these stay really cool as well. And your typical stuff, your piston, rings, um, and your cylinder. So this thing should absolutely rip. We're gonna um, send this out. We're gonna have Joe port this thing top to bottom. Um, again, this is a 70, so uh, it can be raced in a specific class, and you're gonna get all your hardware, your, uh, this is your outlet for your case where your coolant comes out. And then high-end stuff comes with really, really nice wrist pin bearings as well. So then you've got your exhaust flange, which is huge for, for a 70 and all your other various accessories. So this cylinder alone, I think is a 375 bucks, somewhere in there. So kind of what we're going over is if you do the math and you want to do a build yourself and you add it all up, this is, is a really good deal for what you get because, um, the main thing is you're getting an engine case that's better, higher quality, and it's gonna be much easier to port and build than a stock one. So your engine case, um, so this has this has a, your external flange here because because this uh, this motor cylinder is gonna use external flange, but you can also use internal. And on the Piaggio, the way it works is uh, your, your coolant actually flows into here and it goes um, out here through your cylinder. So um, where the Minarellis are gonna go inside the cylinder, not through the case, where the Piaggio is gonna go through here. So um, these cases are Italian design. Um, they're really, really beefy. And then what's cool about the Piaggio, a lot of guys don't know, is you have the ability to run a uh, drum brake. So if you have a Piaggio Typhoon, um, you can run this and you can run a drum brake or you can run a disc. So the, the Minarelli version, if you have a Yamaha and you wanna put this in a Yamaha, you only get the rear disc, you don't get the drums. If you have a Yamaha Zuma, um, if you have Yamaha, Yamaha Zuma, you're gonna swap this in a Zuma, you need to add, you need to buy a rear caliper and, and the stuff to do the, the rear braking because it's not designed, the Yamaha version. Um, so I guess I'll explain some differences. Your Piaggio, your Piaggio is gonna have your mounts down here, which will be like your SR50 that has a Piaggio, um, your Derby, your Derby GP1 is Piaggio, um, Piaggio Typhoon is the same way too. Your Minarelli has a mount up here. So on, on this motor, when you buy these motors, whether you choose Yamaha or uh, Piaggio, all the internals are gonna be the same. Um, the cylinder's the same. They're basically all Piaggio internals. The only difference is between Yamaha and Piaggio when you're buying this motor is Yamaha has a top mount and then the axle here on the Yamaha is gonna be splined for a Yamaha wheel and your and and it's not gonna be made for the drum. So, um, because on the Yamahas, the drum spline is different than the disc spline, your Aerox versus your Bug Eye, they're totally different. So, um, kind of give you an idea on the case and what you get. Um, they're super meaty for porting and whatnot. I mean, it's just night and day compared to what you would get with stock. And Piaggio has a stock two bolt intake where um, the RC1 has a, has a giant, this is like an AM6 size, Minarelli AM6 size uh, intake, and you can fit Banshee reeds in here. We actually sell billet adapters with the Banshee reed cages. So um, nice about this um, is you can bolt this all together in the evening. The other thing I wanna um, bring up, if you buy this motor and you plan on doing a charging system, you have to make a custom plate, which we've done in the past as well as shown on Carter's, because you can't, this mounting, um, position here is proprietary to the RC1, so you can't just mount an MBT to this motor. So um, these are really for guys that want to want to race and don't really care about lighting. Um, if you want to do lighting, then you have to machine something to fit. Also, your this is the one that comes with it. Did you show that? Yeah, well, we'll go over this here real quick. Um, so your CBT cover comes with it as well. What's really cool about this is your multi multivar, your drive base actually pulls air in here and runs air all the way through the back and it comes out here. And you wouldn't think it moves, wouldn't think it moves a lot of air, but it moves a ton of air. And this actually helps keep your transmission cool. Um, your belt, <clears throat> no big deal, but you need a belt for it to work. So your belt 
and then you get your uh, rear Melosi um, gear case cover as well, which is really, really nice. You've got nice uh, needle bearings and roller bearings in there as well. So and that comes with your locating dowels and your, your gasket. So all this stuff adds up, um, which is why this is a pretty good deal. This little air scoop for the side of your CVT cover to get air to come in the front. This guy mounts like that. And then you get a packet that's got your uh, SKF bearings. And I don't really want to take this one apart um, to show you all this stuff, but you've got your SKF bearings, you've got your uh, seals for your crank, and then you've got your seal for your um, your axle as well. And then it looks like a, I can't quite tell what that is, but like I said, I don't want to take it apart. It looks like, a, looks like another roller bearing that probably goes in the case itself. And then you've got your cooling parts. You've got all your hardware. You've got your intake flange. Um, looks like some all your studs for your cylinder and whatnot as well. So a bunch of miscellaneous hardware there. And then you've got your cover, which is going to go here over the side of your uh, charging system. Well, not charging system, I should say ignition. And then you've got your Melosi, um, Melosi reeds, dipstick, uh, your your clamps and whatnot, and then your, your intake boot, which we won't use. And then you've got a reed stuffer here as well. And this crank, um, we just went over this and put it um, and measured it. And it's just, it's absolutely insane. This is definitely the truest crank that I've run across. Um, we just checked it out a few minutes ago. Really, really, really high quality crank. So um, this is the best part um, of this build is your crank and bore. They're just extremely nice. So this thing will run forever. Um, well, until you blow it up. So, um, and then you've got, so again, this all comes with the package. You've got a Melosi water pump. This thing moves a ton of water. It's small and compact. And then they also make a controller not included that you can hook up to a thermostat and it's gonna vary the, the speed of the flow to keep it at a desired temperature. So that's really, really slick. So you're not running too hot or too cold. Um, that's a really, really nice setup. We have those in stock separately as well. Looks like you've got your secondary gear set here. Probably primary, primary gear set here. That's probably your axle. Yep, that's your axle there. Um, you've got the Melosi Delta clutch, fully adjustable clutch um, with, with springs in there too. And you can take this off and adjust it. And you've got a nice uh, high quality wing bell with it as well. So again, this is all the highest quality stuff that they sell. Um, and all comes individually packaged so you get instructions for all those things. Um, I would say, as far as constructions are, instructions are concerned, if uh, you're the type of person that needs really, really, really detailed instructions, this may not be the right thing for you. Um, if you do buy it, make sure whoever you get it from is able to walk you through the process. It's not really that difficult. I've had people buy these and just put it in and they're like, oh, it works great, works awesome. And other people that kind of struggle with it. So um, just have an understanding of your knowledge before you go into something like this. But if you built motors and you've kind of done this before, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, so we've gone over the carb and the filter, which we won't use because it's just, it's baby stuff, it's tiny. So, um, and then you've got your backing plate for your ignition. You've got a, um, a weight, which I like these, okay? Um, I like the flywheel weights myself, I run one. Um, and then you've got your, um, you've got your, uh, the rest of your- Torque. It's heavy, yeah. Well, it's so for the torque. flywheel, yeah, it's stored energy, so. Um, that's what's, that's what's gonna go on your crank, it's keyed, and this is where you get your adjustment, okay? So this is a, a really, really high-end setup. So basically compared to like an MBT or whatever, this thing absolutely blows the doors off of like an MBT or something that has lighting. So um, you've got your wiring, some of your wiring stuff, looks like some more locating dowels and bushings. More hardware that's gonna come with that as well. And then you've got a, um, a nice coil there, two-pin coil, to just mount wherever on your bike and then um, and then you've got your CDI, which has your all your adjustments there. So um, pretty cool setup. This is you're not really going to get this stuff if you want lighting. So that's where you have to kind of figure out what you want. If you want a bike that's going to be for track race, um, myself, what I do because I want more power, um, I'll just put batteries under the seat to run the lights. Like that bike has no charging system. Um, I put two batteries under the seat. Those two UASA awesome batteries. If you do that, you get deep cycle batteries. Don't get. Um, don't get the lithium ones, you want the deep cycles because they'll last a long time. I can run my LEDs, my gauges, charge my phone, and run the whole bike for like 12 hours on two batteries. So, um, last but not least, a Fender. There's Carter. Sweet Fender, keep all your uh, 
This catches all right. your, uh, what are you guys doing? I'm getting water. This catches all your wheelie, uh, your, your burnout smoke, which Carter can show you his. I already wiped it off. Oh, you wiped it off? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you wiped it off. It was pretty cool though. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is what you get there, RC1, um, or the C1 or RC1, and, um, a lot of people think it's a ton of money for 31, 3400 bucks retail, but if you sit and add it all up, um, the nice thing about the case is you don't have strip threads, you don't have strip holes, you don't have to take it and clean it, hot tank it, do all that crap. It's already perfect, out of the box, brand new, new bushings. Um, there's no machine work as well, so, so you don't have to pay for machine work. Um, and then you've got this beast of a pipe as well. Um, you've got the CNC silencer, uh, and it's kind of hard to tell in the picture, but it's it's a really, really nice pipe. They sound really good, too. And again, this is a 70cc, so. But if you sit and you add it all up, you're like 450, and then your ignition's 400 bucks. I mean, all this stuff, it will put you over that price. Um, I've seen guys piece things together. I've seen guys spend $3,000 piecing little things together. <clears throat> with a bunch of random stuff and they end up spending the same amount of money or more and they don't have new cases, they don't have the CVT cover, they don't have the nice ignition. So um, it, it, if, if you want to go, if you want a really high end build that's going to last forever, that's going to run really hard and all brand new, this is hands down the best option. So you don't have to deal with machine work or any of that stuff as well. So, um, so they make this in a short case as well, too, if you want to run a um, smaller wheel. And then, again, so if you're going to pick the motor, most guys are going to go for 94. You need to pick if you want Yamaha fitment or you want Piaggio. And again, Piaggio is the bottom mount fitment. Minarelli is going to be your top mount. Minarelli is going to be like your Zuma, your SR50, um, Acrylia, that's the Minarelli. So look at the top and bottom. Um, a lot of people are going to ask, is this just going to bolt on my bike? That's impossible to really say without knowing exactly what bike you have. If you have a bike like Carter's that's liquid cooled, that's rear disc, I, I could take this motor and, and put it in this, I could put, take this motor, put it together, and bolt it in this bike without needing another single part. But if you have a bike like, you know, like this guy over here, with this Aprilia, if you wanted to put that motor in this Aprilia, this is a Marini. So this is very similar to Piaggio, but it's not gonna be bolt in, um, obviously, because this uses different motor mounts. It's gonna use, a, uh, maybe use the same caliper, I'm not sure. But it's going to use different components all in all. So before you order it, you need to make sure uh, the one you get is compatible with uh, with what your bike is. So, got any questions? Anybody? Anybody? Let me turn around. Any questions? No? Were there any questions or are people just listening? There was questions. No. Well, let's see here. Nobody made any sense. <sighs> is the red part cover for the ignition a spare part? No, it's a part that uh, comes to be installed comes with it comes with it um can it do surgery on a grape probably i would think so they don't make this for an rt50 so again guys remember this is not specific to a certain model it's it's either minarelli or piaggio so rt50 is going to be minarelli but you got to remember um <clears throat> it does cost as much as two rt50s but this is this is um okay actually i got a perfect example here mike Mike has done a 232 GY6 setup. The other guy the other day said, uh, that's Mike, he's from uh, Florida. Um, Mike from Florida. So, okay, so another guy said on Instagram, he said, that's too much money. I could do a 232 for that price. So Mike, how much did it cost you to do a 232? Like in parts, you think? I had the whole motor built. And it was, from a shop. how much? It was 3,500 bucks. 3,500 bucks built. And, and it was a piece of crap. How long did it last? A couple weeks. A couple weeks. Yep. Cam ate up the uh, the cam got ate up because the valve springs are too thick. Too tight. Yeah, they didn't they didn't put it together right. It was a total piece of crap. So you've done a bunch of GY6 stuff. So how does this quality of this stuff compare to what you've been dealing with? Italian versus China. Night and day, right? Yep. So perfect example of somebody who's been through the GY6 stuff and done the ruckus thing, and now now you get to see this stuff firsthand, and the quality is mm -hmm. like this second, second to none. This you're you're not gonna find. I just hate, well, I don't hate to say it, but um, the guys that are doing GY6 stuff, you don't see stuff like this on GY6 stuff. So um, what's cool about Melosi is these people, they're a company that develops race parts, they race. So when I tell people to, um, 
choose their parts, pick a company that actually is in the racing industry because they, they, they need their stuff to perform. So the stuff that you're getting here is the same stuff that they're going to be using on the racetrack. Uh, no, it does not come with a radiator. Again, a radiator is going to be specific to the bike. Like if you have a bike like Carter's, you, they don't need a radiator at all. So, well, it comes with a radiator. So, so these are intended to go into bikes that already have cooling system. If you, if you don't have one, they're not really that hard to install. But the whole purpose of this is to show you guys what it comes with. It does not come with anything extra. This is what you get right here on this table. Um, so it's music, Pat, background noise. Um, is there any carb for Zuma 2T 19 millimeter? Yes, we have tons online. Um, 19 millimeters. We have, uh, uh, some, Carter, someone told you to do a burnout. I think Carter's tired of doing burnouts. No. He said, no, he's not tired. He said, do you want to do one? Yeah, we're going to do a burnout on that. <laughs> Don't do it on the Zuma because that Zuma is going to blow up. No. You can do it on my, do, my, uh, I want to, I can do one on my Dio. We already did a burnout on the deal, but you were, I was doing it. I could do one on mine. Yeah. All right. I could do an RC burnout, but those tires are kind of expensive. No, don't do that. Oh, the RC does great burnout. It really so. does, you do it on Chris's bike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chris Olsen, you watching? Ooh. No, knobbies are too expensive. What did you feel? <laughs> <laughs> well, I came here late, wondering what the difference is between a regular engine and an RC engine. So we just went over all of that. I, I don't really want to go over the whole thing again, um, but but hey, this whole video. Or 50 cal. There you go. <laughs> th this video explains exactly what you're getting when you get this motor. So the pictures don't show all this stuff, but this is what you're getting from top to bottom. Yeah. Um, well, the main difference between the two is you can run the external flange cylinder. He's saying regular engine versus an RC. So yeah. I think he's talking about like an engine. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Is these allow you to run external flange cylinders okay you can't there's no way you're ever going to run those on any regular no engine without well like the rt base plate yeah swap or whatever but um yeah i think i want to do a burnout today it's always you getting to do the burnouts can i do it on your gp1 no it's all taken apart <laughs> uh you want to hold this and i'll move these bikes you can't go out too far because the reception goes away oh the helix is the helix run the, the piece of junk one no <laughs> if anybody asks questions, you can answer them if you want. Ain't, no, ain't nobody asked anything worth answering. Check it out. This is not going to be for the people who don't want to spend money. Dunlop TT93s, super, super, super sticky tires. Just got them in. Um, this will be for like... I've raced these tires for years on the track. Hands down, one of the best on the market. So they're kind of spendy, but they're, they're badass. So we have these in stock. Super sticky. And they're 90, 90, 10. And we just got these uh, hide now. K80s, we got them in a uh, 3.5 by 10 and a 909010 as well. So these are really, really nice tires. Um, I've got them on my bike. I'll see it on my Dio. Oh, that sounds good. The GP1 right now is down. But I think it's the wall.
Dude, it's not gonna pop. Holy shit. Woo. <coughs> oh, dude. <laughs> it's badass. <laughs> oh, then look at the ventilation system taking all of it out. <laughs> you need a bigger fan in here, I think. Eric said he, I think he's coughed from laughing. <laughs> Dude, I was hoping it was going to blow. It wouldn't pop. Yeah, apparently that uh, super Chinese uh, tire won't pop. No, but that is your Chinese door. What is the NCY door? That's or a, and, and, yeah, NCY. Yeah? No. That guy acts like he's nice, but he's not nice. Oh, an RT50 for a thousand bucks. Carb, bore, pipe, CVT stuff. Um, clutch, you can do quite a bit for a grand on that bike. Why do we do that? I don't know, but the meth made it worse. The what? The meth made it worse. Oh. Woo! is gonna be mad. He's not even gonna wanna come back in now. Look at him. He's mad. Dude, he always does it. What? <laughs> oh, smoke all over rubber. Look at it. Oh, wow. All right, so now that we've ruined the whole shop again here, we should probably just get out. All right, I'm shutting it off. Uh, so we got off topic, but now you guys know, um, okay, malt. I just put my Viva City motor together, 70cc, 28 carb. Uh, it ran perfect before spark. Uh, the spark is bad. I'm not sure it, it's, if your spark is bad, it's electrical. And is there a bolt on kit for a Minarelli bigger than a 70? So, so there's n <clears throat> anytime you go to a large CC, you have to machine the cases. There is no bolt on, bolt on a go 100 CC kit from Minarelli. Mike's getting crazy here. You're getting crazy. Calm down. So, and why I say that is, so this is a 50 CC crank K, and this fits in your crank case. So you go to 100. This diameter gets bigger, so you have to machine your your. Uh, your case is larger to accept this crank. And then your skirt, this is your skirt here, is gonna be larger on 100, so you have to machine out your cases to fit that as well. And I've got another video going over that. Um, I will say, a lot of people don't really understand this concept, but if you go out and you say, I wanna get a high-end 70cc cylinder, a high-end 70cc crank, and a pipe, well, you need to make sure you get the other parts to go with it. Um, your stock ignition is not going to work well on a really, really high revving setup. Your stock clutch is not going to work well. Your stock carbon intake won't work well. So when you do this high-end stuff, you need to make sure to pair all the other parts appropriately to make it work. Um, you need to crank, you need to up the crank when you go to a 72. Um, again, it's all going to be different. You don't have to change the crank on a 70. Um, uh, you don't have to change the crank on a 70, no but you need to put in a performance crank. If you run something like this, like a cheap, like $30 knockoff, this thing's gonna come apart like a little mini hand grenade inside your engine. You need to get a quality crank, um, and the Melosi is gonna be the quality crank. Melosi, Polini, stage six and whatnot. So, what do you think? Do we have anything for the O3 reflex? Um, <clears throat> not on hand, but, but that's very similar to this motor. Um, we can get variator CBT parts, and we did a uh, transmission kit for uh, a guy with a reflex. And uh, and he gained 10 miles an hour with with just uh, just the CVT parts. Night and day difference, about 500 bucks. So 
No, and that's not going to be the belt. Well, that's that's an OEM belt, and then it's the uh, aftermarket variator, aftermarket clutch, and all that stuff. So I'll move that thing. Or if you want to slide it out, if I move it, I'll go out of Wi Fi. How's she run? Yeah, I know. That was bad. All right, you may as well. Oh, that was like a scary fire, dude. Jerry! Wow! That's, dude, that's what I'm saying. We just do a bunch of burnout, and eventually we'll have enough to fill the gravel with rubber right there. <laughs> that's good. Wow, it stinks. I wish I would have had my phone on me, because from down the road, no joke, it looked like a, the building was on fire. Like, <laughs> rolling smoke. <laughs> That's, a, that's probably bad. Hey, Carter, yeah. do them right here. So are we getting pulled over for doing wheelies? I don't even want to answer that because we'll jinx uh, Carter. Oh, there he is. There he is. Carter said it's too smoky in here, so he wanted to go do some wheelies. And this guy, he's jogging, and he's got something cool to watch. Let's see if I can get them both in the same. Oh, there we go. Riding scooters is way cooler looking than jogging. He's got a little wheelie. Te Scooter Swap Shop got a little wheelie test track here across the street installed. It's, of course, a legal wheelie riding road specific for us we own that property just for riding wheelies we bought a little strip not really all right well the smoke's pretty much cleared i've answered questions or tried to just so you guys see this is uh again with this you get all your gasket seals your uh over range transmission you get your cylinder your piston and all that stuff your race ignition setup your carbon filter thanks buddy uh, your your uh, Melosi Delta clutch, and they're really good pumps. Um, these cranks are just insane quality, so you get your nice crank um, with your, your nuts as well, your new nuts. Um, your rear gear case cover, bearings, or all your bearings and seals, belt. So um, you had to get new nuts after your last divorce. Uh, I hear that a lot. So um, again, if you want to get one of these motors, um, uh, it takes us about, sometimes we may or may not have it, but if we don't, it only takes us about five days to get. Um, but it's uh, it's pretty intense. If you buy this motor somewhere else and you want us to put it together, um, we don't do that um, as well. We had a few people ask um, about doing that. So um, anyways, we'll walk you through this if you guys get it from us and need help. Um, it's a really killer setup. It's not for everybody, but if you want a brand new engine, you pop in and go um, and it runs really hard and it's, it's the best of the best, this is definitely uh, what you want to do. Also, what's cool about this, since it's a 70, you can run different cylinders on this as well, being that it's, you can run internal or external. Or if you want to change to 100cc, you can machine this out and fit a 100cc uh, cylinder and crank in here if you do your machine work. So there you have it. Have a good day. Um, I'm going to get back to trying to work and not getting cancer from the smoke. Uh, subscribe.